as I've said, um, the lighting is all completely wrong on this painting. Like you wouldn't see, um, there's a lot of detail I'm going to work on around here. So I've added some raw umber in now with the palette that I showed you earlier on to make it dark blacker. So I'm going to start layering up some dark glazes inside these, the back of here. And I'm um, going to work on that as well a little later. And when you want looking, I'll put another black glaze down here, same glaze as I just mentioned, and start to work them into the other glazes. A little bit at a time, I'm not going all over the painting, bit here, bit there. Concentrate in one area. And you've got to keep standing back and having a look at it and making some judgments on it. So we're building up the building up the light now. So I'm gonna have a cup of tea. And I'm gonna work on this this little bit here and uh, come back in a minute. So we'll answer that telephone. Yeah, sorry about that, it was uh, it was only the B-list. Wanted to know when I'm gonna sell my next painting. Yeah, it wasn't actually, it was Mike down there, down my workshop, he's, um, he's carving the frame. And um, he didn't like it down there, he said it's gloomy. Which, uh, I can understand that really, because a man has spent seven years in a, uh, in prison, you know, so. So i, I got to go and move all his stuff over for him now in a minute. Over to his own workshop. He's got a little workshop in his back garden. So, um. So I'll have a little break from this now and I'll be back now in a second. Yeah. I'll shade the cushion when I got the red going. Okay, so that's the way the lights sit in the that bit of furniture. I think I got it just about right there now. <coughs> Alright, I'm gonna move to a smaller brush. And uh, we've got a bit of clutter around here, and I'm gonna try and get some definition to try and sort this area out a little bit here. So uh, hopefully when I put the shadows in, like I just did with this one, it'll give it a bit more shape there. And a couple of things are wrong now. As I'm trying to get more attention down to the model, uh, this plaque here is like floating in space now because I've darkened the area around it. <coughs> and I'm going to try a couple of light glazes on it first. Do it very carefully because I'm very happy with the painting that I've actually done there as well. And that one as well. I think it's like... Um, I was quite proud of that bit now, but I've got, got to make a sacrifice and take it back down there. So I've mixed up a weak glaze, and I'm just going to see what happens. Using a shoulder sable brush now. up there and it wouldn't reflect as much as that in the shadow. Notice that I gild myself. Sometimes you can't say it's gold if it's in the shadow, it's only when the light gets near it. So if gold leaf has got no light to reflect off, it could just look like anything else. Shame this, but there are may have to do another one again. I noticed down here as well that this is not dark enough because you wouldn't see that much detail in the green looking that way. So that's got to have another coat. But I've got to wait two days now before I can do that one again and make sure it doesn't pick up. Always make sure your glazes are dry before you put another one on. They go off quite quick. My glad it stuff goes quite goes off quite quick, you know. Hopefully, and that plaque there as well. It's too bright. So again, it's detracting away from the model's face and the crucifix behind there. There's a brass. That was a brass crucifix there, and it's and it's too bright. And I keep taking this down. See, it's gone back now, isn't it? It's now in the shadow. Put some nice turquoises in that as well, you know, because it was a, 
very unusual, unusual piece of marble, you know. So, uh, As I said before, the best painter of marble, Sir Lawrence Alma Tatima. Uh. <coughs> okay, so that's gone back far enough, I think, isn't it? Can you see that alright? This one's got the same problem. A bit more difficult with this one because half of it is still in the light. So I'm just going to add some stand oil to that glaze, just a little bit on my brush, just to lighten it a bit. I can always darken it again. Let's have a look. So we'll do a bit that's in shadow first. With a nice soft sable brush. Careful of the candle. Probably half of that will do it. Yeah. Some shadow there, isn't it? That's the candelabra, I don't get any on that. But you would see some of it in the light there, wouldn't you? Because it's coming down this way as well. So a bit would hit there. Not in there though. Weaken the glaze out a little bit now. So a little bit of stand oil going in with this now, just a little bit. I love using stand oil, it's a, it's a luxury when you got that going. It helps it flow so much easier. Right, made a mistake there though. So I didn't clean my brush off first. That's going in the mineral, mineral spirits now. <coughs> Okay, uh, this, this painting's almost finished now, I'm coming to an end with it and um, got up this morning and I can still see a few things that's not quite right with it. So uh, obviously it's back of this font here, but have a lot more shadow coming from down here and the flowers are too bright, not all of them but some of them. They wouldn't be that bright down there you know, so uh, these greens down here I'm going to, um, I'm going to glaze those greens down now, make them darker down there with a... Uh, I'm not sure what colours you have. I use a, a bit of ultramarine blue because it's a lovely glazing colour that on top of the green. It won't make it blue, it'll make it like a darker green. And I got a good tube of colour here. Um, I don't know what it is. It's uh, probably it's an Italian one I can't pronounce it, you know, which is inexcusable for me because I've got um, some Italian friends as well, you know. And, um, well, Giovanna. Giovanna uh, Fagoni, I can't even pronounce my friend's name, you know, she's from Merthyr. I've only got a cafe in Merthyr, you know, and she's um, taught my boys, she taught my boys art as well. Uh, she's a school teacher. And she married another friend of mine as well, Paul Gavalli. And uh, so, I can pronounce Gavalli alright, but uh, they'd have no patience with me whatsoever that I can't pronounce that colour on that green tube of paint. And, um, so just to say it's, it's probably a copper oxide of some sort or other. So I'm just going to put a little bit of work in around there now with a, with a small brush just on top of these leaves a minute so that's what I'm doing now is squirting out this green colour it's a lovely colour as well and uh, got a little bit of the marine blue there tiny bit oh it's a tiny bit as well it's all gone yeah so, um, I'm mixing a bit of ultramarine blue now, in with that, probably a copper oxide colour, I'm not sure, making a fantastic colour green, and uh, this is a bit up for you to see, oh I can't on there, I'm sorry, put that bit now, into the tiny little bit now, going into the, Glazing medium again, not enough. A bit more than that. 
uh, how to do it. Let's see what happens there. Always add a bit more after, like I said. A bit of stand oil now on my brush, keep it flowing. A little bit of stand oil. I love the palette if you can see this colour because it's, it's an amazing colour, really. Without it trickling off. There it is. So I'm just going to paint over the top of these leaves now. This is all dry down here at the moment. That's very small, that isn't there. Give me glasses on. Okay, I'll just kind of do that. 